This exercise will help us introduce the map controller route method. Pause the video and read the requirements of this question. You have already seen the map get method, which is like an all-purpose tool. There you can use the context to parse the request URL and perform string comparisons and ultimately solve the above requirements. But you will soon realize that a lot of code has to be written. Which can make code maintenance difficult. ASP.NET provides better tools for more complex tasks like this one. One such tool is an MVC service. MVC is a long topic that we shall discuss later in this course. But we can talk little bit of it as relevant to our current requirements. MVC service has first to be added to the project through the configure services method as shown. Next, we require the presence of a controller class. Add a class that inherits from the controller class. Controller classes are suffixed in controller like Hoven controller. The methods of a controller are magic methods that write directly to the response. These methods return an I action result. This return type can wrap an HTML string, a JSON string, and even a file for download. Our index method is writing an HTML string to the response. So the question now is how to wire this method to our route? Let us go back and edit the use endpoints method. Add the map controller root method is shown. The root template is specified in the first parameter. Controller maps to the controller class. Action maps to a method of the controller class. ID maps to the method parameter of the same name. The default values for the route parameters can be specified. The constraints and a friendly name can be given as well. The friendly name can be used for logging. The code in the index method is executed if the request is slash hoven slash index. This is how you can run and verify.
But what about the restrictions? MVC provides us with a ready-made attribute called host that allows us to specify the allowed hosts. Attributes on action methods make MVC a really powerful option. You can run the project from localhost to verify that the request fails with 400. You can add localhost to see the request pass again. The source code can be obtained from the blog page mentioned in the description below. Thank you.